Hey students, it's me, Mr. Fitz. So I just want to make a quick video on perimeter and area, and this is going to be an example of a delta math question. I'd say this is the harder of the perimeter questions that you're going to see. Um, this one you're going to have to solve for the missing side. So you're actually looking for this side here. But what is the problem going to, it has to actually give you more information than this. So the pro, this is what the problem said. The perimeter equals 65 centimeters. What is the length of the missing side? So Okay, now that we have that information, what we can do is add up all of these sides. And what I would do is like start from here and then like tick them off as you go um, so you don't miss something and maybe do it twice just to be safe. The other thing you can do is you can count up like all the like ones that are the same and then, you know, multiply. So it's like four times 4.7, 9.2 times two, 2.2 .2 times two, and then 12 times one. So you could do all of that. Um, that's just a shortcut, right? Um, I'm just going to add them all up. And I get 65 for all of, uh, sorry, 53.6 for all of these things in purple. 65 was the total perimeter. If I subtract them, that means this has to be 11.4. Don't be fooled. Um, these This actually looks like a uh, symmetrical shape, but it says in the, di in the problem itself, it would say not drawn to scale. So don't be fooled by that. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily, even though it looks like it's a symmetrical shape. So you might guess, you know, this is 12, but it's not. Okay, so there's that problem. All right, let's look at the next type of problem. So these, actually, this is like very similar to the diagnostic test that you took way back when. Um, and so you'll see like this sort of thing here, and it's a multiple choice question. Which values represent the dimensions in centimeters of the rectangular prism? Note, again, this is not drawn to scale. So what I do for these is I start with the smallest of these values. I start with 24. Why? It has the smallest factors. So here we go. So what are the factors of 24? Um, well, there's 24 and 1, 12 and 2, 8 and 3, 6 and 4. All right. Well, if we know those are the factors, let's take a look. Two of those need to be the side of this rectangle right here. Well, the only one that fits is 8 and 3. So and this is the only one that has 8 and 3. So do the other ones, do these other numbers match up? work for these? Sure, right? I just labeled them all. There's three and eight, three and nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, three, eight, nine. So you can just work your way around the shape and see if all these other ones work, right? Because nine times eight is 72. Three times nine is 27, 72, 27. Then eight times three is 24. So that's that type of problem. Um, also, I'm going to show you how you can do the factors in the graphing calculator. So let's take a look at that. So here's our graphing calculator. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in here 24. So I'm gonna hit Y equals and then hit 24 divided by X. Here's our X button. And then what I'm gonna do is I hit the second button and bring up the table. So what you can see here is this creates the table of all the factors of 24. So it's really useful. You just have to look for the whole numbers on the integers. So this is a decimal, so that wouldn't work. You have six and four, four, four and six, three and eight, 12 and two, 24 and one. So that gives you all the factors. So that's really, really helpful. Okay, so let's look at the last problem. So the figure below is a net for a right rectangular prism. Its surface area is 280 inches squared and the area of some of the faces are filled in below. Find the area of the missing faces and the missing dimension. Okay, so this is kind of like a guess and check type thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and like think about what we can fill in. So if we know that this is five and these are rectangles, so then this has to be five, 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 right? So I'm going to go ahead and fill in all those. Also, so if this is five and this is 50, well, 50 divided by five is 10. So this side length has to be 10. This side length has to be 10. Same with these two. Okay. Next thing is, this is a net, meaning it's a rectangle unfolded. I'm going to show you an example in a second. But these four sides, when we fold it back up into being a rectangle, are really the same edge. They're the same side, right? So these would be connected to each other. So in reality, those are also 10. So if I know that's the missing side, then what's 10 times 6? 60. So the missing face, the area of this rectangle, is 60 square inches. So let's take a look 
at what I was talking about with the connected faces. So if I have my trusty cereal box, so here's my cereal box, right? Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hold on, let me uh, stop blowing my background. As you can tell, I'm in the science lab. Um, so here's our Cinnamon Toast Crunch box, right? It's unfolded, it's a net right now. Now, if I fold it back up, you can see that these sides here, which is what kind of what we were seeing in that picture in the diagram, these two are the same. So if I fold it up, those are gonna be connected. So this is like, she was kind of kind of this way. So, um, so upside down, but yeah. So if we fold these two together, it'll be the same. So anyway, hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions.